Hello there, my name is Tom Carney from Pro Audio at SCAN and I'm here to talk with you today about why one of our court series could be the best choice on the market right now if you're looking for your very first bass. Court may not be a brand that you're that familiar with. However, what if I was to tell you that they are responsible for the manufacturing of instruments like Dean, Gretsch and Ibanez. When they create their own instruments, they are using that wealth of knowledge and putting it right back into their own. I'm sat here with a Court Action Deluxe Plus in grey. It's also available in a Cherry Sunburst. Also, if you wanted, it's a part of a bundle deal with an EBS Combo 30 bass amp and rolling cable. This, of course, includes free shipping and a complete professional setup on your order. Let's take a quick look at the bass itself. Just so you're aware, we are currently going into a Carl Martin DI, which is just going straight into our audio interface to get the true nature of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, we have a volume dial. We have a dial which selects these two pickups. So if you were to turn it all the way to your left, this pickup is the only one that's gonna be active. And then if you are going to turn it all the way to the right, then you're just getting your bridge pickup. There's an active three band EQ. There's also a passive active switch. So here's what it currently sounds like as a passive bass. <laughs> So you can hear how much rounder that tone gets when that active switch is enabled. So something that you can do on this bass that I want to talk about is how you can blend the two pickups with your EQ to create some really nice tones. So one of my favorites personally is to give that rear pickup a bit more attention and then slightly boost the treble and you get a really nice thumpy kind of tone from it. Sounds a bit like this. If you're playing an acoustic gig or maybe a jazz gig, something a bit more stripped back, something that I like to do is to set it so that the front pickup is only active and then just add a touch of bass into it. Playing up here by the neck can achieve this sort of tone.
Another thing that's achievable with this EQ is that you can also cut frequencies as well that might be interfering in the mix within your band. If you were to roll all the way to the right so that you center on your rear pickup, it also makes double stops and chords sound quite nice and full as well. Lovely and bright, lovely and bright. Another great use of the pickups is how much it can accentuate plectrum styles of playing. If you were to roll it again, so that you are focusing on your rear pickup, add a slight little bit of mid, it can give you that really nice present tone that's used in quite a lot of punk music. So it's a very lightweight bass whilst maintaining a good balance through its 34 inch scale. A bolt on neck made from Canadian hard maple and Jotaba fretboard feels quite thin and fast to play and I'm not overstretching to reach anything I want to get to. The cutaway design of the body allows for accessibility all the way to the 24th fret, which on other lower end models I've noticed can be an issue. The electronics are provided by Mark Bass and you won't get many active bass guitars that give this level of quality at this price range. The Mark Bass MB1 EQ provides a very natural and transparent boost that only serves to accentuate the natural resonance of the body itself. This bass does not box you off in terms of what you're able to accomplish from just the instrument itself before amplification or effects come into play. Personally, I would be over the moon if anyone was to present this bass to me now, even after many years of playing. It's a quality instrument, and it really does tick every box, no matter what style you want to accomplish with it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to drop us a line in the comment below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. We'll be back soon with much more fresh content. Thank you, and take care.